So we're out in the B&W Diamond Power Facility in Lancaster, Ohio, standing next to an IK555 retractable slip blower. Uh, this has been a staple product for us for a number of years. Uh, this was actually designed for the 1300 megawatts and we've used them in various applications as well. Um, they were designed for 45 and 45 feet, seven inches up to 55 feet travel. So some of the things that you'll notice on this, it's a very long slip blower. Um, this is a, a brand new blower going out to the field to replace an existing one that's been in service for a number of years. But this has a uh, 600 series poppet valve. You'll see the various air relief components, your cam linkage for the poppet valve for turn on of the steam or air, um, various um, proc switches. Some of the other things that you'll notice is there's some top access points as well. If, if you're trying to order parts for your soot blower, the easiest way to order parts would be a serial number off the side. This is model number and serial number specific. So if you call into one of our um, customer service folks uh, with that number, we'll be able to order any part uh, from, from the time that this was originally supplied up till now. So that's some of the things um, very important to note. This actually has the 555 CR carriage. Uh, this is a, a high cycle. It's, it's intended for maintenance free um, use. It's also got the live loaded gland assembly, which um, will allow the packing life to increase significantly. They come with various lance tube and feed tube configurations. Some of the additional things that you'll notice, these were designed with the length in mind, they needed some deflection correction. So as this lance tube sits out in, in the boiler, it'll actually, if it didn't account for this by ramping up towards the end, it could be drooping down significantly. So that's all been accounted for in the original design. This sub blower also has, um, this one in particular has a split beam design that is split in the center and then bolted up. So that way it can be hoisted up into position with two different rigs instead of just one. So looking at the front of the IK555, you've got the, the roller assembly here. Um, that's it's set up accordingly in the field. And then this is what actually mounts to the front wall box and sleeve arrangement that sits up at the front of the boiler. Um, you'll also see the lance tube as well. The lance tube sits so far into the wall sleeve, um, but is basically taken away from the, the furnace and temperature. Um, it's isolated in the sleeve. So that's some of the things that you'll notice on the front of the, the IK555.